My name is Olushe Gumokuolu, reading the Bible correctly. Uh, many read the Bible wrongly. You see, you can read the Bible as a theological book and um, come with all kinds of postulations and head knowledge. You can read the Bible like a Christian religious book and um, it won't profit you. Uh, people read the Bible, even though we don't read the Bible as we should, but people do read the Bible. But the Bible does not do what it should do in their lives. The way to understand whether you are reading the Bible correctly is to check out whether the signs of someone reading the Bible correctly are in your life. If those signs are not there, you are not reading the Bible correctly. The Bible is a powerful book. The Bible is not an ordinary book. I can, I can tell you that it's not an ordinary book. So what are those signs? That when you see them, you can be sure that you are reading the Bible correctly. Now, I'm not dealing with um, how to read the Bible per se. I have dealt with that in other videos, which you may check on our channel. But I'm just looking at signs that you are reading the Bible correctly. I've seen people doing all kinds of analysis about the Bible, but the Bible is doing nothing in their life. The Bible really has uh, no import on their lives. So here are the things that will tell you you are reading the Bible correctly. If you are reading the Bible correctly, you will be changed. You will be transformed. That book, you will trace back your transformation to the scriptures. You will know that over time, reading this book has changed me to who I am today. If the Bible is not changing you, you are not reading it or you are not reading it correctly. You are reading it wrongly. When you are reading the Bible correctly, you will know Jesus more. There is one person that will be coming into your focus more and more. More and more. You know, it's like when an object is, is far off but it's gradually coming. When an aircraft, for example, is far off in the air, it will look very small. You may not be able to make any detail out of that aircraft. But as that aircraft is coming closer to land and you are there, it will become bigger. You will notice the details. You can even read names on it. In fact, you can actually see some of the pilots through the windows. When you are reading the Bible, please note this correctly. You will be knowing Jesus more and more. If your reading of the Bible is not increasing you in the knowledge of Jesus. I'm not talking of um, IRK knowledge <laughs> or CRK knowledge or Christian religious knowledge. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking of the fact that you know Jesus was given back by Mary, carpenter's son, he healed the sick. Raise the dead, the blind. I'm talking of beholding the glory of Jesus such that Jesus becomes your only pursuit in life. The Bible will do that to you if you are reading the Bible correctly. If you are reading the Bible correctly, you will love to read it. If you are laboring to read the Bible, if the Bible is something that it's a burden, each time you think of reading the Bible, you're like, oh, let me just go and read it so that um, I can. this God will leave me alone. He will know at least I've read Bible today. Now, then you, you are not reading the Bible correctly. See, you are going to love something that gives you pleasure. You are going to love something that gives you joy. You are going to love something that satisfies you. And the Bible is designed... And he does that to you. It's not an ordinary book. So you will love the Bible more. You, in fact, you will be excited 
to read the Bible. You know, in those days, when we want to watch movies, and I live in country where electricity has not been constant, so we have movies we want to watch. We will be waiting for electricity uh, to come back, and then once we see sign of power, we are so excited. We want to go and put on the TV, the, the DVD, and begin to watch this movie. There is joy, there is excitement. I can tell you, the Bible gives more excitement than that. You will long for this book. You will wake up in the morning and you will just be filled with joy knowing that I want to open this book. The Bible does that. So if it's not doing that in your life, you are not reading the Bible correctly. If you are reading the Bible correctly, it will govern your life. It will become that which governs your life. That means it becomes your philosophy. It becomes your brain. There is no way anybody can come in contact with you and they will not know you have a wisdom outside of the human wisdom. If you are reading the Bible correctly, people will see wisdom about your life that is outside of woman wisdom because that Bible will govern your life. Then, as you read the Bible correctly, your misconception we give way for the truth. When last did you read the Bible and you're like, oh, so I've been believing something wrongly. So this is actually what the Bible teaches. If you are not having that on a very regular basis, you are probably not reading the Bible right. When you read it correctly, you will, it will be dealing with many wrong concepts, many wrong ideas in your life, and it will be replacing it with truth. You will be filled with truth. Jesus said you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. You will be filled with the truth. The things that used to be issues for you will no longer be issues for you as you read the Bible correctly. The Bible empowers you. It's not an ordinary book. It empowers you. So when you read the scripture correctly, it empowers you. You will begin to sense the power of God. You will begin to have boldness. You know, one of the way, one of the things the Holy Spirit does is to embolden us, is to strengthen us. You can believe things you ordinarily cannot believe. You can take a stand. You, you, you can, the strength of the Lord will be with you. The Bible strengthens you. It supplies strength to your spirit. It's not an ordinary book. It supplies strength to your spirit. Then it will guide your decisions. If you are reading the Bible correctly, you won't make any decisions without the knowledge of the scriptures. It will guide you. It will inform your decisions. Your decisions will be based on scriptures. You know what Jesus said? He said, blessed. He said, he that built his house on the rock, he that hears my word, and do it. It is he that built his house on the rock. He said, blessed is the man that is planted by the riverside. That's by the word of God. <laughs> blessed is that man that hopes in the word of God. It will guide your decisions. And because of that, you will be making less wrong decisions in your life. If you are reading the Bible and you are making terrible decisions consistently, you are just making, you are jumping from one bad decision to another. Check it whether you are reading the Bible correctly. The Bible will give you wisdom to make right uh, decisions. Then when you read the Bible correctly, it will be convicting you of your sin. As you read the Bible, things you don't think they are sinful, you will see it. And then you will be repenting. The Bible will constantly be leading you to repentance. I want to say to you that if you are reading the Bible and it's not showing you anything about your life, you can't say, oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. I never knew this. If constantly you are not experiencing that, you are not reading the Bible. Because you see, as the Bible will take you closer to Jesus, as you draw closer to light, as you draw closer to light, any dark thing in you will be revealed. You see this dark logo? 
if I was in the dark, you cannot see it. But when I come to light, it will also come to light. But you see, there may be others that you can't even notice now. There may be others. You may not notice them. And they are there. But when I bring them closer to the light, it will reveal them. So as you study the Bible, because the Bible is the word of God, the Bible says the entrance of thy word, give it light and understanding to the simple. Psalm 119. Now, why does he give light? What's the answer? What does light do? Light displaces darkness. Light reveals, reveals hidden things. If you enter this room and it is dark, you won't see a thing. When they put on the light, you begin to see things. So as you read the Bible, oh my, my, people that read the Bible very well, correctly, they cry a lot. Because that scripture, it will be removing, it will be cutting them, showing them this is not right. This, that, you, rem you remember what you said the other time? Now when look at the scripture, look at what it says. You say, Lord, I'm sorry. You repent of your sin. And the Lord washes you clean and then you move on with the Lord. Then, when you read the Bible, your purpose becomes clearer. Many people say, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know. As you read the Bible correctly, your purpose in life becomes more clearer. You will know what God wants you to do. Jesus said in the volume of the book, as it is written of me, I have come, O Lord, to do thy will. In the volume of the book, he discovered his purpose in the volume of the book, John said, I am the one, I am the voice of one in the wilderness. How did he discover that? It's in the book of Isaiah. Your purpose will become clearer. Very few things will move you again. People cannot just bring one opportunity and then you jump on it because you now know your purpose and you are working uh, in your purpose. Then we, this is the, this is where I'm going to stop. There are so many, but I'm going to stop here because I believe I've already communicated the idea to you. The Bible, if you read it correctly, it will be preparing you for eternity. The Bible will focus you on eternity. I've had people make statements like, uh, people are uh, uh, heavenly minded, earthly relevant. That's a very wrong statement. In fact, it is impossible to be heavenly minded and not be earthly relevant. Those who are relevant on earth are those who are actually heavenly minded, e.g. Jesus, <laughs> e.g. Paul, Peter. Anyone that is heavenly minded will be earthly relevant. Anyone. Now, the scripture even says you should set your mind on things above. It said set your affections on things above. So it is normal to be heavenly minded. It is a normal thing. It is those that have the mind of heaven that can influence and govern the earth correctly. The people they describe as being heavenly minded and earthly irrelevant are actually not heavenly minded. You can't be heavenly minded and not be earthly irrelevant. We can, we've never seen any example of that in the scriptures. Anyone that was ever heavenly minded in the scriptures were very relevant on that. But my point is this. You see, as you study the Bible, the Bible is going to focus you on eternity. He is going to prepare you for eternity. You will be very conscious of eternity. The way you live your life, you will be very conscious of it, that you are going to eternity. Because you see, what God is using this side of time to do is actually to prepare us for eternity. I pray that God will give you wisdom and grace to study the scripture correctly in the name of Jesus. Like I said, we have done videos where we have discussed on how to read your Bible. Uh, we will put the link in the description below for those of you who are watching this on our YouTube channel. The description, uh, check the description, you will find the link to videos on how to read your Bible, the practical ways of reading scriptures and so on. But let it be very clear to you that when you are reading that Bible correctly, the following issues that I've just discussed, they will be in your life. So you will know that you are reading the Bible. The Bible is a transformational book. It's going to transform you from a self-centered sinner to a Christ-like person. The Bible will reproduce in you the knowledge 
of Christ. He will reveal in you Christ. Now, let me now raise something to you about uh, the purpose of the scriptures. Second Corinthians, no, Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 to 17. It says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for one doctrine. So the Bible will give you correct doctrine. True. Reproof. So when you are reading the Bible, it will reprove you. If you have spoken wrongly to your husband, you have spoken wrongly to your wife, and you are a reader of the Bible, it will reprove you. When you will open Bible and you will, you will be seen in the Bible. Go and apologize to your husband. <laughs> That's how powerful it is. It's a book that reproves. It says, for correction. The Bible will correct your life. The Bible will put you on course, on correct course. You know, there are spacecraft that they send to other planetary bodies. Sometimes they are on the wrong course. So they correct their course so that they can align and get to where they are supposed to get to. So I want you to know that it is for correction. If the Bible you are reading is not correcting your life, all the foolishness, all the anger, the resentment, the sentiment that has been in you since childhood, they are still in you. After years of claiming you are reading the Bible, you are joking, you are joking. It says, for instruction in righteousness, you will be instructed how to live right. Instruction in righteousness. When you are reading the Bible, you will live right. If you are reading the Bible and worldly music, worldly dressing, nothing changes, you are harsh to people, you are rude to people, you are not kind, we cannot see the fruit of the Holy Spirit, what Bible then are you reading? Because this is what this book does. Haven't you read several stories of unbelievers who just went to a hotel to have a nice time and then they saw a Bible by their bed and they pick it and read it and they gave their life to Christ and many of them have become preachers. Today, that tells you it's not an ordinary book. There is no other book that produces that kind of effect. There is no book you read that leads to salvation like that. The scripture is powerful on its own. Just read it. It's the word of God. It's so powerful. It will lead you to salvation. That's why it's only Bible they place by people's bed. They are not placing books. As wonderful as many of our books are. It is the scripture that does that. It says, for instruction in righteousness... That the man of God may be perfect. The Bible will make you perfect. Perfection in the sight of God. Not the human perfection, but perfection in the sight of God. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. The Bible will produce good works in your life. Your life will be filled with good works. Your life will be an output of the, of the fruit of the Holy Ghost. The Bible will do all of this to you. So I want to ask you, are you reading the Bible correctly? Is that scripture changing you? Is it becoming your dictionary, your encyclopedia, your brain, your philosophy? Is it becoming everything to you? Are you finding answers there? You are probably reading the Bible wrongly. And I pray that from henceforth, God will help you and give you the wisdom to read the scripture correctly for profit in the name of Jesus. Particularly, I want to pray that you will so much read the Bible that your image will be changed into the likeness of Jesus Christ. If you want to, if you have clarifications or you need clarifications or you want to contact us or speak to us, please check the description below on our YouTube channel. And if you are watching this on any other platform, just check our profile or about section and feel free to contact us. Our email address and phone number, they are all available there. Likewise, all our social media handles, they are all available there. Feel free to use any of them to contact us. My name once again is Olu Shegumoku Olu. God bless you.